That was really good. So that's your first time on stage? Boy, you did good. You didn't uh, shake, you didn't uh, throw up, you didn't do <laughs> anything like that. You did really, really good. I liked your quote. It was, it was the snow and the tree, right? Yes. Okay. Snow. Yeah. Very, very good. Now, we have our favorite son of New Westminster, one of our favorite sons of New Westminster, Idrian Burgos. Please come up and read for us. That was actually nice of you to say that. Um, given that, like, if you're asking um, what, what what's my favorite uh, part of Metro Vancouver, it's this city. Oh, that's nice. So I'll be reading with you like three wedding pieces for um, today, taking advantage of the time. So this one again, um, I actually said this in here in this um, in, in, here in Puerto Rico before, and this actually started as a wordplay prop. So the prop for this one is that we have to write this prop based on a uh, based on fortune cookie message. And so what I got was it said, "You will eat cake." So this is what um, I came up out from that um, for that um, fortune cookie message. You will eat cake. The cake is inside an elegant restaurant. The restaurant is decorated like a mansion. The mansion, in fact, houses the restaurant you're in. The restaurant is located in the city. The city is from there, but not of here. The city incorporates aspects of both here and there. The aspects or the elements of there harmonized with the elements of here. Both elements are old. Both elements make you comfortable. Both elements make you feel whole. So the second one's entitled Falling in Line. Excuse me. Chose to fall in line for the first time together between, within, the sales associate, the guy who finished his afternoon shift at the pizza shop, the old lady going to visit her grown-up child. Before, I stood apart from humanity, above their everyday, their regular, their ordinary. When I fell in line, my dreams weren't lofty, their mundane wasn't plain. We were all on the ground, tall. And so the last one is entitled um, The Gallery Room. It's actually based on something that actually happened, um, that actually happened to me. You may have met a girl who's a French last name, speaks French, studied history at university, who may share the same interests as you, could be of the same age group as you, but that is all. Even that was an awkward attempt, a conversation. We resemble creepiness, a wanting to get more into her life. Otherwise, you can't connect. You feel that you don't know anyone. You feel all alone, you feel all alone in this space intended to meet everybody, to connect everybody, for anyone to connect together, which in fact are true and ironic. You eat the meats and cheese, drink the coffee, but it is like they are your only reasons for attendance. What to say to them, what to talk about them, you don't intend even to purchase the book, and it's disrespectful to go there just for the snacks. Inside your head, on the farther corner, you eat, isolated, a gatecrasher without ideas. Thank you.